What's up everybody? It's your boy Kid Smooth from the official Wii Game Here.com and today I'm reviewing Until Dawn for the PlayStation 4. Now I must admit to you guys I was very skeptical about Until Dawn. I wasn't sure I'd like the game, didn't think it would be worth 60 bucks. I questioned its playstyle. I thought it would be a glorified version of Life is Strange. And I must say to you guys, I must admit to you guys right now, I was completely wrong. Until Dawn starts slow, almost too slow for my liking. The story is very, huh, huh, dumb teens in a cabin who like to have sex and split up a lot, especially in the dark. As a blockbuster movie, it wouldn't be a hit. It would be a straight to DVD thriller. With that being said, for a game, it is very good. Story wouldn't check out in Hollywood, but it's good enough to keep me playing. The visuals in Until Dawn is the best we've had on current gen so far. I mean, it easily surpasses the likes of The Order 1886 and Rise Son of Rome. Every actor in this game is recognizable down to the dimple. Despite the weak and confusing story plot, the acting is stellar. I must admit, the acting is, is great. It's great. As far as gameplay goes, Until Dawn is straightforward as can be. Pretty simple. Nothing too complicated at all. Most of your actions are done by QTE. Until Dawn's QTE segments are probably the best you'll get in a video game. They're extremely quick and you must pay attention. At one moment, I took a sip of soda and completely missed a three second button prompt, which led to Ashley leaving Chris hanging for a high five. Decision making is key. My first playthrough, I made a bunch of boneheaded decisions that would play out like a Wes Craven film. And it's the reason I'm going back for another playthrough. Now, anyone will tell you until Don is predictable. I'll be the first to say that is a lie. It starts as a serial killer murder mystery and it ends with ghosts, skinny monsters, pigs, and fire. Uh, makes no sense. <laughs> I would have preferred the serial killer murder mystery story. That should have been the game. The story is a bit confusing and like I said before, it makes no sense at all. And that's where it all goes wrong for Until Dawn. Other than the last two and a half hours, the game is pretty damn good. Until Dawn deserves credit and hopefully we see more games that looks this good and more recognizable actors. Until Dawn isn't just another team movie, it's an 8 out of 10. For more video game reviews, all our great content, visit the official WeGameHere.com and make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and I'll see you guys in the comments. As always say, good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. Kiss Smooth, out.